Hey, Brian from Film Direct here. Just want to take a few minutes and do a quick tutorial on how to do a color separation in Photoshop. Photoshop's a great tool for doing color separations. If you, all you have available to you is a raster image, um, ideally a vector image is the, is the best way to do it. But if you don't have one available and you need to get it done quick and don't have time to get it vectorized, um, Photoshop's a great alternative. So here's the file that we're going to be separating right here. Uh, the first thing I'd like to do is just make sure that we have the proper image size for the t-shirt and the resolution size. So what you do is you go to image, image size. Um, right now it's 9 by 10. Um, this is going on adult t-shirts, so we'll, we'll make it, um, let's see what 12 inches does. 12 by 13, that's a pretty good size for adult t-shirts. The resolution, you want to keep it between 200 and 300 uh, pixels per inch. Just hit OK and that will resample the image. So now that our image is to size and we have the proper resolution, um, we're going to go ahead and start separating this. Um, you want to make sure that you got the right um, palettes available to you. So you want to make sure you have your channels, layers, and it's also nice to have this color, um, color palette open too, and I'll show you, show you why in a minute. So um, what you want to do is go to, the first thing you want to do is, is um, go to select color range, and this will bring up your color range finder, it will bring up this eyedropper tool. You can go ahead and click on any color in the design. This particular design is a two color. We're going to do red and blue on, uh, excuse me, yellow and blue on red t-shirts. So we'll click on the blue first and then um, we've got this fuzziness slider. And uh, what you want to do is slide it to where you get a really nice black and white um, image in the viewfinder here and then just hit OK. And from there you can go to select, save selection and we'll title it blue. And this will save this will save your color in the channels palette. So you can click on the click on the channel, the one we just labeled blue, and you can preview the channel. So here we go, we got um, it looks pretty good. We're gonna use our eyedropper tool here just to make sure that we got hundred percent black on the image. You want you want hundred percent black and zero percent on the white to give you the nice contrast that you're going to need for um, when you send this to the printer. If this is, um, you know, let's say for instance we pulled it and, and this color was at 80%, well then it would print 80% dots on your, um, through your rip or your printer or whatever you're using. So we've got a nice 100% black right here. So let's go ahead and get the second color. So we'll go back to select color range. We'll pull the gold this time. We'll set the slider to 200. Hit OK. We'll go to select, save selection. We'll title this gold. Deselect it, and then we'll preview the channel. Um, everything looks pretty good. It does look like it's a little bit lighter down here. Again, this is a raster image, so the it's not going to be super clean like if it was a vector image. But if it's all you have to work with, um, you should be able to make it work. This should look fine by the time it gets to the shirts, even with even with a little bit of sawtooth, it should look fine. So um, we need right now. This is previewing at uh, ninety-one percent. So we need to make this hundred percent black for the output. So what we'll do is we'll go back to our color selection tool and we'll select this area, turn the fuzziness to two hundred, hit OK. And what we're going to do is go to Edit, Fill. And you want to fill this this area to 100% black, so you know you got you got the, the constants there. You just go to black, blending uh, blending mode normal, 100% black. Hit OK, and let's let's preview to see if we got the 100% black. There we go. We got 100% black on the whole image. So now we have our two color separation. Um, you can see that there is a little bit of space in between the two colors. Um, we can go ahead and fix that. Um, what we'll do is we can either expand the blue or we can expand the yellow. Um, I'll probably go ahead and expand the blue because it is the fill. So we'll, we'll go to our blue ch blue color, blue selection, and we'll if you click this icon right here, it'll, it'll highlight the selection. And we're going to go to select, modify, expand, and we'll do it by two pixels. You can see it expanded our selection by two pixels there. So we're going to go to image, let's see, let's see, edit, fill, 
100% black. And what that did was it, it basically grew our image by two pixels. And then when we click on our other channel, you can see the dark red area. That's where the two, that's where the two colors overlap. You don't necessarily want them overlapping on press because you'll get a nice muddy area between the blue and the yellow. So what we want to do now is is go for is try to make this as close to butt registration as possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to knock out the blue area that we just that is overlapping the gold. So we're going to go ahead and select the gold and then we're going to and then we're going to go ahead and, and highlight the blue and then just hit your delete button. And what that does is it knocks it knocks the blue back just to where the the gold starts. So now we should have a pretty nice butt registration. See how the the um, the gap in between is closed up. There's a slight slight gap, but that'll close up once it's on press. So right now we have a really nice looking two color separation. Um, we're going to go ahead and build the underbase now. So for this particular design, what I would do is I would go back to your your RGB composite and I go to select color range and I'm going to pull the actual color of the shirt and I'll check my slider hit OK and then I'm going to go to select inverse and what's that, that, what that does is it go ahead and it's selecting the whole image and then we want to choke back the underbase just by two pixels so that um, if there's any registration issues on press you won't see white playing peekaboo around the gold or the blue here. So you go to select, modify, contract, and you can either pick one or two. Generally I pick two. Hit OK. And if you zoom in, you can see that we've now pulled back the image by two pixels. So then you go to select, you're going to save the selection. We'll name it under base. Hit OK. And we'll preview the under base channel. So now we have a nice solid under base. For, the, for these two colors, if you click on the other two colors, you can see that this light pink area is where the, is where the gold stops and the underbase starts. If you click on the, on the gold, if you, if you do select the gold, load the gold selection, you can see that it, that it overlaps the white by about two pixels. And then we'll check the, we'll check the underbase. So there, that's where the underbase ends, and that's where the gold starts. So we should have a nice overlapping area right there. So that, that's it. There's, your, there's a three color separation on red for a red t-shirt. Um, from this point you can actually highlight um, go ahead and highlight these um, click shift on these on these um, channels and you can go to your printer dialog box and um, just pick your favorite printer or rip or however you got your, your computer set up and just go ahead and hit print and um, you're good to go. That'll, that'll be a nice, easy three-color separation. Um, obviously, you can add some crop marks in here, or some registration marks if you want. I'm going to show you an easy way to do that on the next tutorial. But for right now, that's uh, there you go. There's a three-color separation. Thanks for viewing.